Now let's look at an example testing problem using a fertilizer label that's going to simulate what you're going to find in your fertilizer applicator certification training test. This will be a good practice to come through. And remember, any time you can pause this presentation, work the problem, see if you got the answer. And if you didn't, hopefully we can review what the mistakes were until you're very comfortable making these calculations. So we're going to work with a 24-612 material. And we're first going to look at a question I've developed down here. It says, what percentage of this fertilizer's total nitrogen is slow release. So it's 24% nitrogen by weight. That's part of its guaranteed analysis. And underneath that, we see that the nitrogen has been split into two categories, 6.2% ammoniacal nitrogen, 17.8% urea nitrogen. But the urea nitrogen also has a small asterisk right behind it. So we need to do a little bit more reading on this label to learn more about what that means. When I come down here to the asterisk, I see that it says, huh, it contains 16.3% slowly available coated slow release nitrogen that comes from three different sources. So let's write that down. This material is 16.3% slowly available nitrogen. Now, that answers question one. Question two says, is this fertilizer classified as a slow release fertilizer according to the Association of American Plant Food Control Officials requirement that such materials contain at least 15% slow release nitrogen forms? Well, we're gonna work with 16.3% slowly available nitrogen, and we're gonna divide that by the total amount of nitrogen, which is 24%. And 16.3, divided by 24 and again you can pause at this point to do your math Let's see if the answers turn out the way that they should that number turns out to be right at 68 percent and I'm rounding off just a little bit but 68 percent of this fertilizer is classified as slow release okay so this product is definitely a slow release material in 68% uh, is much greater than 15%. Question three, if the recommendation is to apply one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet with this product, how many pounds of this 24, 6, 12 fertilizer are required? So anytime you're working these types of problems, it's good to write down kind of what are you looking for and what do you have? Well, one thing we know that we have is that we're looking for one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. And the question wants to know how much 24612 does it take to give me that amount? Okay, so we're talking about nitrogen. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use our percentage for nitrogen over here. The key is always whether to multiply or divide by that analysis. In this case, when we're converting from nutrient to fertilizer, we divide. So we take one divided by 0 0.24 equals, just a little bit more than 4.1, matter of fact, let's round it off to 4.2 pounds of 24, 612. And if you apply that uniformly to 1,000 square feet, you will then be delivering one pound of nitrogen. Okay, so that takes care of question three. Question four, at the level of fertilizer required to deliver that pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet, what we just determined was 4.2 pounds of product, what will be the levels of phosphate, potash, sulfur, and iron that will be applied per thousand square feet? So we go back up to our label and we see that phosphate is 6%, potash is 12%, sulfur 6%, iron 1%. Now what we're going to do is kind of reverse this calculation and we're going from product to nutrient and now we multiply. We're going to take 4.2, we're going to go times 0 0.06 for phosphorus, times 0 0.12 for potash, times 0 0.06 for sulfur, and times 0 0.01 for iron, right? 4.2 times each 
of these now. So 4.2 times 0 0.06 equals right at a quarter of a pound, 0 0.25 pound, and this is P205. 4.2 times 0.12. And again, the more you work with these, the more you start seeing trends. This number 12 is twice as large as 6, right? So you do the math, this one's going to turn out to be right at 0 0.5 pounds K2O. 4.2 times 0 0.06, once again, is going to be 0 0.25 pounds sulfur. And the last one here, 4.2 times 0 0.01 is going to be 0 0 0.04 pounds of iron. And that one I'm going to check to make sure that I've put my decimal place in the right spot. Okay, it's 0 0.042, so we're pretty close there. So that is going to be the answer to 4. Those are the levels of the other nutrients which are being delivered. Okay. To, do, to provide one pound of nitrogen. And the last question, five, what would be the levels of elemental phosphorus and potassium delivered per thousand square feet? So now we're gonna go back and work with these two right here. And if you completed your training module one, you've learned that for phosphate, the constant that converts P2O5 to elemental P is 0 0.44. The constant that converts potash, K2O to K, is 0 0.83. So if we take 0.25 times 0.44, we get 0 0.11 pound of P. And if we take 0.5 times 0.83, we get right at 0 0.4 two pounds of K elemental potassium. So let me write that like that. So those are five sample questions, just like what you'll see on your fertilizer applicator certification training in which you'll actually be working with a, an existing fertilizer label.